Super Bowl Sunday is all about the football, but tonight it is all about the fashion and the footwear. Tonight you've coupled your legacy with suits and sneakers. And might I add, can we just look how dapper he looks this evening? I really do. Thank you for noticing. You brought out all the stops tonight. Suits and sneakers tonight, and you've got the suit, but you've also got the sneakers. Can we can we can we highlight those? How dapper are you tonight? And look at the style with the hair. Come on. And with a party of suits and sneakers, so of course I had to have the Jordans on. Of course. You look dapper tonight, might I add? Thank you, thank Look you. Look at this ensemble. Now, but the couple that dresses their shoes to match stays together, am I right? See that teamwork? Look at that matching gold right there. Can we get a shot of the sneakers too? Like how excited do you get to dress for this event every year? Um, this is actually my first year uh, at the event. Yeah, yeah. You're a newbie to the event. Yeah, I'm, I'm just- You killed it. Oh, thank you, appreciate Who it. Who dressed you tonight? You know, I dressed myself. Okay, that's what I want to hear. Okay, so how did you choose this ensemble? Well, I, I did take some a little bit of pointers from my wife, my lovely wife, uh, but uh, I don't know. It's, it's just I had a vision. Uh, I, I always dress myself, but tonight my style has dressed me. I can't. I wish I could take credit for this. Okay, so Cam came out with his sexy yellow Versace pants. You've all heard about that. What is the one item in your wardrobe that you would never want anyone to see? Uh, I got some underwear. <laughs> so you are also a seasoned pro. What are, What is your favorite part about these parties? And what, what is your top do and your top don't for these parties? Well, your, your, your top don't is don't get too drunk. You know, there's a lot of alcohol, you know, and it's Not free. too much it's wine. It's flowing, and a, and, a, and a lot of times at the parties, it's free. You know, you got to try to contain yourself. But the best part is uh, really it's, it's the people. It's uh, coming to the party, seeing a lot of people you haven't seen in a long time. Uh, some of your old teammates, some of your current teammates that you played with, and just uh, reminiscing over the over a particular season or whatever it may be. So it's good to see all the guys. Top do and top don't. Um, always look good. And don't play yourself. What is your top do or don't for people coming to the Super Bowl parties this year? I would say um, if you're flying in, get here in a hurry because the traffic is going to be nuts. Um, and just 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 take it all in, enjoy it. Um, you know, who knows when it, where the next one's going to be or if you're going to be able to come again, but just enjoy the experience. I mean, there's no telling who you're going to see walking down the street. It could be your favorite player, your favorite actor, actress. You never know, so uh, just have fun with it. Top do. Um, you know, I want to go to the future concert tomorrow, see what that's about. Uh, I'm, I'm going to take my mom to the Alicia Keys concert. Did you ladies hear that? He's going to take his mom. It's Super Bowl 50, and you've done something monumental, suits and sneakers has coupled with your event tonight, MVP. It's such a good cause too. You're bringing fashion, a great cause. Why is it so important for you to do this every year? Well, you know, the, the, it's funny. I, I started something just to mess around calling the Glazer Blues a couple years ago just to piss off Stray Ann and, and Erlacher and those guys saying, you gotta come to my party and call Glazer Palooza. But then it, we started raising money for him. It's fantastic. And the foundation that we started, this MVP, they, a lot of it was born out of Nate Boyer who just walked away from here, who's a 14-year Green Beret. Like, combat veterans look up to football players, and football players look up to them. So you match them together, and also they have that team again. They're beholden to each other. Starting something for young players, because they're seeing what you're doing, and they're seeing how you're helping people, and they want to do it too. That's where you're hoping. You're hoping also to show guys, being an NFL player is not who you are. What's behind your ribcage rib and got you to actually make it to the NFL, that's who you are. And if you can make it to the NFL, you can certainly get through the transition.